Hello there folks, welcome back to the channel. Now if you've been following us for a little while, you'll probably be aware that we actually retire in a, a few weeks time. And we're planning to live and travel full time in the motorhome. Now we've got rid of everything, we've sold off everything and we've decluttered. And we've put all of our essential belongings um, in storage and also our sentimental stuff in storage. We've got a small garage and we've packed it all into there. So in a matter of weeks now we will be essentially homeless nomads. We'll be living full-time and traveling in in this motorhome and it really is quite a daunting thought um, to give up everything and just go off wandering and traveling at the ripe old age of 66. But the plan has changed and we won't actually be full time in, in the motorhome now until uh, the beginning of next year because we are going to visit our children and grandchildren in South Africa and Australia. So we need to tuck the motorhome away in storage. And we've been quite fortunate. We've found a bit of private land but it hasn't got any CCTV coverage. So, the point of this video today is that I'm going to install and adapt a very cheap method of giving you security to be able to see round the van. And I'm going to be using and adapting these NEOS smart cams. You can view them on your phone from anywhere in the world they will give you alerts if there's a motion detection or movement detected and uh, they give you recording that you can play back you can also adapt the camera in a waterproof case for outside now if you haven't seen these before they're an extremely cost effective method of monitoring the inside of your motorhome first of all a quick unboxing and then we'll crack on and get it fitted. So the outside camera is the first one to fit. I'm going to be fitting it on the rear of the motorhome, right up high on the corner, so it overlooks the back and it's got a wide angle of view. So I've set up the cameras with a 32 gig memory card, it just slots in the back here. Then you close up the base and it covers it. Insert the USB power cable and then it fits quite snugly in this waterproof housing. The camera itself is actually splash proof and with this housing you get, you know, it's belt and braces really. So it's got four screws that tighten it all up around you add the adjustable base plate and there it is I'll probably add a little bit of sealant in the appropriate places but that's the camera and it's all ready to go So I've let this dry and it's fully stuck now, so I'm going to connect the 
USB lead to the camera, fit it into the box like I showed earlier. Now I've just got to connect it to the camera and position it where I want it, which will be somewhere like this until I can get the picture and look at it and make sure it's in the right place. So that'll do for the moment. That's the back of the motorhome and the camera is sitting nicely right up high and it overlooks all of the rear. Before you can do anything with these cameras, you have to download the NEOS Smart App. You have to plug the camera into the USB port and it has to have a little yellow light flashing like this one. You're presented with a screen that says if you want to add a camera, press the plus. Then asks for what type, obviously it's a smart cam, Wi-Fi name, you put your Wi-Fi and then the password in. And then you have to press this little button on the bottom of the camera. Ready to connect. And then there's a QR code and you simply present that to the camera. QR code scanned. Please wait. Now trying to connect to the Wi-Fi and there you are. Smart cam. Choose a room. Setup completed. Moho 2. Done. And I want to save this device. And once that's completed, go to the home screen, click in the middle or whatever camera you want to view, and it will load that up on your phone's screen. And there you are, that's what it's showing at the moment. And that's a very easy process, as simple as that, and it's all installed. Right, now the plan for the front of the motorhome. Obviously I don't want anyone tampering with the door locks or anything so I'm looking to fit one of the smart cams just inside the window here and I'll work out how to do it you'll use the magnetic base that comes with it and probably that'll ping on there and fit it something like that um, that way anyone approaching the door side will it'll pick them up because it's got a very wide angle of view and as they get closer obviously I'll get a good view of who it is and if there's anybody tampering with the lock it will give me um, an alert and a warning. As well as that add one at the front so I've got a full 180 degree um, like surveillance of what's going on. The only thing I need to do now is the rear side of the motorhome so but at the moment I've got the back covered the driver's door side covered and the front covered the other side of the motorhome I don't need to worry about because that will be parked against a, a wall uh, very close to a wall so all I've got to do is peel off this um, magnetic base stick it to here and adjust the angle and it should give me everything I want. The USB cable I'll just run and tuck in and uh, plug into the uh, battery pack. I'll be using the leisure batteries for the power and uh, yeah it should be all systems go. So I've changed my mind a bit. I'm putting it up here and if I've already stuck the sticky pad onto the window and the magnetic base and I'll fit it there and that then means I can tuck the power cable down the side here neatly and that will give me a good 180 degree view out of the front. And if I just quickly nip out and go round the front you'll see exactly what the camera sees in real time. So that's about it for this installation. I've now got four cameras, I've got the, the door covered, I've got the front window screen covered, I've got the rear covered, I've also put a camera high up in between the blinds and the window that's covering the whole of the side of the vehicle. So I've got full 180 degree surveillance should anyone approach or I want to know what's going on. It'll give me a noise notification, 
uh, movement notification, nighttime vision from anywhere in the world and it's so cheap. I'm not sponsored by NEOS. I bought all these cameras myself. I'll put a link in the description. Um, and they all work brilliantly. So I've got a little bit more peace of mind where I'm leaving it um, on the land with no surveillance other than this. Right, well, I hope you've enjoyed the video. I hope it's been useful. And until next time, take care, stay safe, and I'll catch you later, folks. Bye for now.